Okay, so this, this is just going to be a little unboxing. I've already opened the box because I wasn't sure what was in it. I placed a couple orders and I wasn't sure which one this was. So this order here came from uh, TEC Canada, Straight X. So. I bought two of these magazines. These are number four infield mags. They're 40 bucks. That was a little steep, but anyway. Um, I'm pretty sure these were labeled as um, used, but they're brand new. They've never been in a gun. They've never had any rounds in them. And they're also labeled as number four, but they look like number ones because the line doesn't go all the way down, or maybe I have that backwards. doesn't matter. Um, you can make them fit either way. So I got two of those. I got two bags of PPU 762 by 39, 50 each. Um, I found the PPU brass to be quite good actually. That's the other bag. And the Seeker crossbow. So this little baby here was, I think it's $100, we'll look at the receipt after. But um, This is a pretty tiny little thing. I'll take it out of the box here and see, see what we can show this. I don't have a very big table, so it's kind of difficult, but anyway, the secret crossbow. <clears throat> Come on, bend over and show. There we go. So it's made by, or at least marketed by, a company called Bolt. It comes with a little target that's, you know, that big. Probably 12 by 12 paper. And it shows all the different little configurations. Most of them are pistol crossbows, but here in Canada we're not allowed to have pistol crossbows, but we can have shoulder fire ones, fine. So the seeker, yeah. These this one here, the burst, is the one I see on on uh, most of the American sites. But anyway. There's that. Need accessories? We've got you covered. That right there might actually be handy. I might order some of that out. They have broadheads for these little guys. So, um, I ordered some regular broadheads, but they don't fit these arrows. They're a little different. So it's pretty tiny. Um, I wanted this basically for crows and such. And what I like about this, it's only, I think it's 50 pounds. Breaks down. Push this button. Hopefully this is on camera. I don't know. But you push this button. Breaks it down, cocks it. I'll, uh, I'll get this set up and fire it a couple times later on. And I'll make a new video for that. Also got myself an extra package of bolts. And that little bit of stuff cost me 318 bucks. So the brass. Okay, so the brass said I think it said it was in bags of a hundred, maybe not. The packing, the packing slip says quantity 100 each, $65. I'm pretty sure that's what I bought. They sent me two bags of 50. I don't care about that. I got my 100 brass, so all counts. Uh, so that was 65 bucks. The infield magazines, number four. Two of these at $40. The crossbow was $99.95. The 
package of a dozen bolts was nine or uh, eleven ninety five. That's uh, two fifty seven twenty dollars for shipping, forty two dollars for tax, three hundred eighteen bucks. Canadian, that's probably I don't know around two hundred and seventy or something like that. American, I don't know what the the conversion is right now, but that's, I'm guessing two fifty two seventy somewhere in there. Anyway, um, so I'll do a video on this little stuff a little later on, and uh, I'm going to load up some heavy cast 762 by 39 for that converted carcino I got. So, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.